Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art and today we're going to be texturing our guitar model. So um, we're going to do this in a couple different sections, but we'll just be kind of selecting faces and texturing it that way. So uh, first I want to go into face mode and let's go into front view and let's go into actually poly modeling and then just click and drag and select those top guys. All right. Next, go ahead and hold right click, go down to assign new material, shader, and then AI standard surface. And then I'm going to make this color like this very deep and fun, like brown color that they often will have. And then, oh, these faces. Eh, actually, no, we'll make that the darker color. Let's go back into, uh, actually, let's change this one. I think I modeled it backwards, so it's actually back view. <laughs> um, you can change that by just holding space and then holding on Maya and then going to whichever view you want. Select the bottom and then I'm going to deselect by holding tab and just dragging on the sections that make up the top piece. So just like all of these guys. If you miss any, it's not the end of the world because we're going to go through and select them anyways uh, to texture them after this. So um, not a huge deal if you miss them. All right. Yeah, let's just go with that. Okay, so you're gonna take those, do assign a new material, shader, AI standard surface, same thing. And then I'm gonna make these that like typical light, like tannish color that you often see a guitar as. I think it should be that. And then I'm gonna go into the back view again and select these top guys and then you're just gonna have to go through and hold tab and just do your best to select these all hopefully shouldn't be too hard okay that should be good okay go ahead assign a new material to that same thing AI standard surface, but this time I'm going to make this like a dark brown. Maybe like that. Maybe like a little bit lighter. Maybe like that. Okay. Um, next, we're going to make uh, these guys all silver, all these like knobs and these strings. So go into object mode and just start selecting the objects that you want to make silver. So like those guys, those guys, uh, the strings, just hold shift to select them all. Uh, all of these tabs in here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, these guys perfect okay then assign a new material to those uh ai standard surface and make these like a silver and then turn metalness up maybe like halfway or so and you can bring roughness down if you want it more reflective all right um next this guy down here, I'm going to assign it the existing material of that gr that like brown right here. I think it'll be cool if it matches. Uh, oh, last thing is selecting these uh, tabs right here and making them that silver color. So you'll probably just have to like 
hold tab and go across and then click one, double click the next and just go all the way through um, all of them. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think there's that many. All right, got them all. Make sure you didn't select any faces that you don't want. And then you're gonna hold right click and assign the existing material of that metallic gray. Yeah, all right. Next, uh, click on Arnold and grab a sky dome light. And then I'm gonna grab, go to poly modeling and grab a plane, scale it on up, and then I'm gonna move it down under the guitar so it seems like it's like almost resting there. All right, and then click on Arnold and render. And you can see how it's coming out here. Move the floor up a little bit so it's not floating. <laughs> um, cool. So I think what I want to try is adding a texture of wood to to it. Let's try it. First thing you're going to need to do is go to texturehaven.com. Uh, oh, it's also called polyhaven.com. That's good. And then click on wood. And, ooh, I think I'm going to try this one, this plywood. Or this fine-grained wood. That seems good, too. Mm. Okay, let's try the fine-grained wood. Uh, you can do whatever uh, resolution you want. I'm going to do 1K. And then download that. There's going to be a zip file that you download. Go ahead and extract those files, and then the texture should be in that folder. Um, okay, so let's go back into Maya, and what you're going to be doing is click on the object, the guitar object, go scroll over to the textures, and find your wood textures. Like this is one of the wood textures. Then you're going to click on the checkered and click on file, and then you're going to click on this folder. And for the color, uh, you're going to use the file that says this one. So the one that doesn't say normal or rough, it's the color one. And then you can click on raw and do that. And then let's also edit this one. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I just edited that dark wood color. Next, for each one, you're going to add a roughness and um, a normal map. So under specular roughness, add a file and then add in the roughness and then go to e geometry, bump mapping, file, change it to tangent space normals, and then add a file there and choose the normal map which is the purple thing uh, okay so now you're going to do the exact same thing for the other wood texture so i just did the dark one so i'm going to do the light one so add the file which is the color and then change it to raw oh it looks so cool um, add in the roughness and then add in the bump map. And then for that lighter wood color under coat, you can change it to be that color and then up the coat to make it like lighter. You can up the weight as you can see. Um, okay. And then last one was this one. So add in that wood texture. The color goes first, 
change it to raw, then add the roughness, and then the bump map. Oh, normal map, yeah. Okay, uh, for that one, I'm gonna add the coat on, which was this one, up that. Ooh, that's kind of cool to be black. I won't though, it does look cool though. You can up the roughness too, so it's not so reflective. Okay, uh, I want to edit, let's see, yeah, this is the, the darker one. So I'm gonna add that code on and then make that darker. Now it's standing out a bit. Oh, I'm so glad we add those wood textures in. It looks so cool. Um, oh, click on the plane, assign a new material, do shader, AI standard surface, and under the color, uh, add the checker map in just so it has like something simple to kind of play off of um, But yeah, I am actually really happy with it. It turned out so well. I'm impressed um, If you guys have any questions feel free to let me know but that's about it for this tutorial So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys <laughs>